Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to get shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them but all you want to do is go to your search bar and search up for mod Rinth, like so. Once you do this, you should see modernth.com here, just click on modernth and you should be on the modernth homepage. From there, you want to go to the top of the website to discover content and you want to go down to shaders. And this is how you choose a shader. So basically there's a bunch of shaders here that you can use and in this case I'm just going to choose the more popular one here, so complementary shaders. So we'll just click complementary shaders here, the name, and this will send you to the uh, homepage for the shader that you chose on modern. And basically all you want to do is click versions here and in most cases you just want to get the latest one they have. So I'll just get the latest file here and this will just download a shader to our computer. So all you want to do here is go to a new tab and to get shaders running on Minecraft you need to go ahead and go and search up iris shaders and this will show up with iris shaders dev here. Just click on iris shaders here and you should be on the iris shaders homepage. From there you want to go to download now here and you want to click download universal jar and from there you should have iris installed here so as this is a .jar file if you don't have java on windows you want to actually go to a new tab and you want to search up jdk24 and i will have a link to how to actually get this on your computer but basically all you want to do here is just click java downloads here on the oracle website here and from there all you want to do is click accept all and you want to scroll down here you should see jdk24 selected for you you want to select windows you want to download the x64 installer here with the link here so that's what you want to do to get java but if you can use the installer and see your logo here you should be fine so all you want to do here is just close your web browser you want to open up your file explorer and you want to go to your downloads folder from there, what you want to do is double click the iOS installer here. And here we have the iOS installer. Here we see that 1.1.5 is selected for us. We can of course choose another version, but we'll just use 1.1.5. Here we have iOS only or iOS plus fabric if you want to use fabric mods. And this will use the fabric icon as well in your launcher. But we'll just use iOS only and click install. And once it's done, we can close the installer and we can go to the Minecraft launcher. From there, we'll be able to open up iris 1.1.5. So here we see that we have iris and sodium here. And all you want to do is make sure you have this selected here. And if you do, you can click play. And this will just load up Minecraft here. So yeah, we'll just wait for Minecraft to load up. And then we'll be able to add the complementary reimagined shader to our shader packs folder. So basically, all you want to do here is just go in Minecraft like so. Here we can see that we have Minecraft 1.5 here. And all you want to do here is go to the Options tab. From there, you want to go to Video Settings. And now we have the Sodium interface, but all you want to do is click Shader Packs. And now what you want to do is click the Open Shader Pack folder. And from there, all you want to do is go to your Downloads folder. You want to select and copy the shader that you have. And you want, to, you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder, which in this case is back to shader packs, and click paste. And here we have copy pasted complementary reimagined or any shader in the dot Minecraft shader packs folder. If you did this correctly, you should be able to go back to the Minecraft 1.5 here, and you should see complementary here. So all you want to do here is click it, it should become yellow and darken, and you want to click apply. And this will just apply the shader, like so. And once it's done, you can do done. And you can do done and click done here. And now we can go to a realm, server, or single player world. And we should be able to use our shader. So there you go. Here we now have complement that we imagined working here. And yeah, it's how we get shaders for 1.5. Here we can indeed see that we have the uh, 1.5. Uh, Minecraft here, so that is 1.5. We are using sodium here, and we do have iris here for the shaders. So, yeah, that is how we get shaders for Minecraft Java. 
1.21.5. So, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!